Hi friends, welcome to today's video. My name's Stephanie and today I'm gonna to be showing you ILMP's new velvet collection for spring. So this is ILMP's first spring collection of the season and it consists of six new subtle spring magnetics. These are gonna be available for a discounted pre-order starting on Friday, March 1st. So as always, I will have ILMP's website linked down below. I definitely have some thoughts on these, but I will save them for after the comparison. For now, let's just get into the swatches. So the first polish in the collection is Cashmere, and this is described as a cashmere beige base with a silver magnetic pigment and holographic flakes. So this one has a bit of a sheer formula, as you can see here on the first coat. You barely get a wash of color, but there is that yellowy beige jelly tint kind of coming in a little bit. So depending on your preference, you are going to want to build this up in at least two or three coats. While I normally am a fan of sheer polishes and especially love jellies, when it comes to magnetics, I am just a lot more picky with them. And especially when it comes to the cat eye effect, like seen here, I just prefer mine to be more on the open side but unfortunately even doing three coats didn't really cover up my nail line for this shade just because of how light and sheer it was so I didn't end up loving how this looked on me but of course since this is the velvet collection I am also going to be showing these with the velvet technique I start by painting a base layer of the polish and then once I'm ready for my second coat I have the magnet on the side of my nail as I'm painting and once I finish my second coat I just will move the magnet away from my nail and maybe to the other side just to move the magnetic pigment around so as you can see this does velvetize pretty nicely I pretty much did a slightly thicker coat just to have the most room for the magnetic pigment to shift around so yeah no surprise I did end up liking this a little bit more with the velvet effect but I still wasn't super crazy about the color and here it is with no effect as well the next polish is Pink Suede, and this one is described as having a delicate pink base with a silver magnetic pigment and those silver holographic flakies. So again, I'm going to be doing the cat eye effect first by holding the magnet underneath my nail. Just as a little tip, holding the magnet over your nail is definitely going to give you a crisper line. I'm just far too clumsy to do that but anyway onto the formula this one was also very nice and easy to apply and work with it kind of has that jelly leaning formula but I found that this one was a lot more pigmented so I got a lot more color on the first coat but it still was pretty sheer I think it did build up really nicely on two coats though but I am showing a third coat here without the magnet underneath just so you can see how much more coverage you can get by doing an extra layer there is a little hint of nail line but it's not that noticeable and lastly here it is with the velvet effect and with no effect so you can see how that looks on two coats each and no surprise this was one of my favorites just because it's pink and so pretty the next shade we have is lily and this one is described as having a soft lilac base color with that same silver magnetic shimmer and holographic flakies so i decided to build this one up on its own first just to show you how it looks because i kind of like these on their own i normally am not a fan of doing that with magnetic polishes like i prefer wearing them with the velvet effect anyway so i figured i was gonna like this collection but i was kind of surprised to see how much i like these just straight out of the bottle i think all of that shimmer just already lends itself to having a really nice plush looking effect but it's not going to have as much dimension when you're moving your fingers around as if you were to do the velvet effect so i definitely think this looks really passable on two coats it's just a little bit sheer where you do see some nail line in extreme angles but i wanted to test a new way of magnetizing that i've seen other people do where you basically just apply your first two coats of polish like normal and then you only magnetize magnetize your top layer of polish and it definitely worked pretty well but I do think it is a little bit more on the subtle side than just magnetizing each layer for example and lastly here it is with the velvet effect and I just really loved how this one looked it is just such a beautiful color such a strong contrast with that magnetic shimmer it is so nice 
Next up we have Velour and this one is described as a mellow sage green base with that silver magnetic shimmer and holographic sparkle. So I figured I could try another new to me method for magnetizing. I saw this on Instagram and Reddit. I think this was created by Nail Bastion where you basically take two magnets and hold them next to each other underneath your nail and that's supposed to be the super easy way to get velvet nails except it wasn't really working out for me. I feel like you could only see the effect on the left side of my nail but there was just nothing on the right side so it wasn't giving what I wanted it to give so I ended up having to do a third coat and doing the velvet technique that I normally do with holding the magnet next to my nail and I definitely was a lot happier with the end result this way but I have seen that technique work for other polishes so I'm not sure if it's just user error or it just doesn't work with these specific magnetics for some reason but anyway here it is in three coats with the velvet effect two coats with no effect and it's definitely looking a little bit sheer here so i feel like you would need a third coat for this one either way and here it is in three coats with the cat eye effect where again it's similar to some of the earlier polishes you can still see a little hint of nail line because of that sheer jelly base but it's still a really pretty color Next up we have Teddy and this one is a light teddy bear brown base color with that same silver magnetic shimmer and silver holographic flakes. So I ended up going back to showing the cat eye effect first with these swatches and this one ended up being pretty similar to Cashmere, the first polish where it was very very sheer. You barely get like a wash of the base color on the first coat and it does start to build up on the second where it starts to get a little bit darker but it's really not doing anything to cover up the nail line so personally i would say that this one is a three coater but even at three coats you still see a decent amount of nail line so if that does bother you like it does me you might want to use a blurring base coat underneath this one and lastly here it is in two coats with no effect on the left and then with the velvet effect on the right and no surprise i really like how it looks with the velvet effect because it's just so shifty and it's a cute color too and rounding out the collection, we have Velveteen, and this one is described as a warm brown base color with that same silver magnetic shimmer and holographic flakes. So I was definitely confused by the warm color description because when I look at this brown, I see it as a cool toned brown in my opinion. Granted, I'm not great at color theory, and so maybe I can see it leaning a little bit like warm and purpley maybe, but because of how desaturated it is, it just leans cool to my eyes either way it's a really beautiful color and possibly one of my favorites from this set even though it's not really giving me spring vibes i still really like it this one was a little bit sheer on the first coat like some of the others because it has a bit more of that jelly leaning formula but this one built up the best in three coats where it was really hard to see any nail line in my opinion that could change if you do thinner coats though you might see a little bit more and lastly here it is in two coats with no effect on the left and the velvet effect on the right and it is super gorgeous with that contrast again not a shade that i would normally wear for spring but it is gorgeous so here is the full collection worn as a skittle in two coats with the cat eye effect i have teddy and velveteen next to each other on my thumb because those two are just the most similar and it's kind of hard to tell them apart especially in direct sunlight but once we move into the shade i feel like it's so much easier to tell how much darker velveteen is in comparison to teddy so they're definitely not dupes but yeah while these colors are cute i wasn't super into them or at least not with the cat eye effect just because i feel like it's a little bit more on the subtle side like maybe the silver magnetic shimmer blends in with the silver hollow flakies a little too much but this is the velvet collection so i'm wearing them in two coats on my right hand with the velvet effect and then with no effect on my left hand just so you can see how these compare side by side again i'm wearing both teddy and velveteen on my thumb and here's a close-up of the collection lineup. It's definitely giving soft, muted, earthy spring vibes. I'm not super crazy about this color palette. I wish maybe there was a, like a little bit more brightness to it, but it's definitely really sparkly. 
So getting into comparisons, we're starting with Cashmere and looking at it next to Cirque Colors Halo from their Aura collection. These definitely look like they could be exact dupes because they have that same silver magnetic shimmer, but their base colors are totally different. Cashmere is that lighter yellow leaning beige color, while Halo is that warmer, darker taupey brown. So here they are in two coats with no magnetic effect and then with the cat eye effect, which also reveals those hollow flakies in Island P shades that don't exist in the Cirque polishes. So yeah, these are kind of similar vibes, but definitely not dupes. Next up for Pink Suede, we of course are going to be comparing this to Cirque's Bay from the same Aura collection as Halo. This is another light pink base color with that same silver magnetic shimmer. And again, just by going off of the bottle shots alone, they look like they could be dupes, but there is a subtle difference in their base colors. Pink Suede has a little bit more of like a bubblegum kind of pink color to it, while Bay has a little bit more of a muted rosy sort of color. And Bay is also a little bit more sheer as well. This is two coats of each with no magnetic effect and then with the cat eye effect. The other obvious difference is that Island P has those little flakies, so yeah, they're similar but not dupes. So some of you might know I recently added Sir Colors Clairvoyant to my collection and it is another light purple magnetic polish also from the same Aura collection. This one sadly hasn't been brought back yet but unfortunately Lily is not really a good dupe or alternative for it. I mean maybe it is a good alternative in the sense that it's the only other pastel purple magnetic on the market I think but they really do have totally different base colors where Lily is a little bit more on that muted gray leaning purple side and clairvoyant is a little bit more on the pink side and it's a lot more jelly leaning too. Next for Velour, I of course had to show this next to Hollow Taco's Menchi Cat Eye from the limited edition birthday trio last year. If I remember correctly, this one was also described as a sage green kind of color. Hollow Taco also has those silver hollow flakies in it as well. And the magnetic shimmer is more on the chartreuse side as opposed to a cool silver. And it's a little bit more of a metallic kind of look too, especially if you're applying it with no magnetic effect whatsoever. But doing a cat eye effect, you can even see a difference in their base colors where Holo Taco is just a bit darker and there's also a green shimmer too, so definitely not dupes. And lastly for Teddy, I wanted to show this next to Island P's Sandbar from last year's Under the Sea collection. It's another neutral brown kind of magnetic polish with a very sheer kind of formula, so I thought these were going to be pretty similar. They definitely do have the same silver magnetic pigment in them, but obviously the base colors are really different where Sandbar is just more of a warmer, almost like peachy brown kind of color, and Teddy is a little bit more neutral and slightly on the darker side and it has a lot more holographic sparkle as well so out of these two I definitely prefer Teddy especially if I'm going with the cat eye effect and my last comparison for Teddy is with Cirque Colors Lyra and this was from the Heavenly Bodies collection last year I had almost forgotten about this shade and I'm so happy I remembered it because these ended up looking pretty similar to each other I would say they're both that kind of neutral taupey brown kind of color with pretty similar formulas again Cirque's is very much on the jelly side and doesn't have any hollow sparkle but they have the same silver magnetic shimmer and Cirque is only a little bit warmer and darker so they're not exact dupes but still pretty similar I would say. So that wraps up my swatches and comparisons for Island P's Velvet Collection. As always I would love to know what your thoughts are on this release because to be completely honest I feel just a little lukewarm about these. Going off of my initial first impressions, these didn't really wow me. I do think whatever criticisms I might have really are just like a personal preference thing. I unfortunately just didn't love these as much as I thought I was going to. If you had watched my favorite magnetics video back in January, I mentioned really wanting to see a collection of pastel magnetics. And when I got this email from Island P, I definitely was excited at first, but I don't know, there's just something about them that I didn't end up 
loving all the way. I don't really know exactly what it is, like if it is the magnetic shimmer in here that's maybe just a little softer, because as you might know, I really love Island Pew Magnetics, but the majority of my favorites are all the darker colors. But it could just be that I need some more time for these to like grow on me and really appreciate them, because for what it's worth, I do think they are really pretty colors. They are just so soft and subtle for spring. They have that beautiful, delicate, hollow, flaky sparkle that I really love with Island P Magnetics. So yeah, don't get me wrong. They're definitely cute. I'm just not like super in love with them. So I really can't wait to hear what your thoughts are on these. If you are super excited for them or if you just don't even like them at all, because I know a lot of people are kind of over magnetics with how tedious they can be. So make sure to leave me any and all thoughts that you have down below so we can chat about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.